Hey guys, uh, right now I'm working on a Raymond EC. Alright, you can see it is an EZ8, it's a 94 model. And the problem with this is when you're starting to drive from a dead stop, it would kind of shudder a bit. It was kind of like a jogging a bit, going forward or reverse. And then once it catches, it would run smooth, right? So the customer was figuring that it might be a brake issue, but it wasn't. Checked out the brakes, and brakes are fine. There's no leak. So they were thinking, okay, there were maybe there was binding. But the way that it was going, it always happens on an AC truck, and most of the time it would be an encoder issue. And although this is a DC truck, it would also have an encoder with a belt. So this is the encoder problem with this is because I had to make an adapter for it so right now I'm hooked on to channel A and channel B from so this is gonna be the cable from that encoder and goes through with my adapter DIY adapter I know it's pretty crude but it does the job and it hooks on to the board because I have no way of um, actually measuring it straight on the board okay so Hook my Pico up, channel 1 and channel 2, uh, channel A and channel B are hooked up to my, um, are hooked up to my channels for the encoder. Right. Take you a look at that signal right now. Some noise in there, it's my lead start again so my setup is channel A is at 10 volts and channel B is at 10 volts so right now I have that um, trigger set to B okay and time base is basically 2 volts for division and then I'm gonna change my uh, 2 seconds for division sorry okay so let's try to run this focus on the screen while I try to run this Going on reverse, slowly, so you can see right there you have a jitter and basically I, I haven't driven it yet and you see a signal that's already there. So positive 5 volts and then 0 all together and let's, show you, let's see what happens when you try to drive this. So I'm driving in reverse slowly, see my channel 1 is already active. Go. Oh damn man, that's a lot of noise. Now we're gonna look at that afterwards. Okay. That I'm concerned about. That I'm concerned about. That's one of my concerns. Okay, I'm gonna pause this for a while. Okay, I'm gonna have it run again. Sorry about that. So I want to see it at the end. I'm going to drive forward now. Too much time here. Okay. There's something I want you to see. Go to at the end of the screen. Look at the front of that. I'm stopping now. I'm stopped. You see? Okay, that signal I don't like, but then again, we're going to look at it. I'm going to pause it. Okay, so the previous capture yeah, uh, earlier, like I said, was like a too slow of a time base, I guess, but the good thing about the Pico is that you can zoom it in, all right, with great detail. And so right now, I'm zoomed into one of the parts, and that is not looking good as far as the encoder, all right? So this would be a good signal right here. They're always upset. This is this is bad. Oh, not really. I mean, this went up, but channel B did not go down up to here. And it's not even at the right time. So to me, that's looking at an encoder issue. And why I'm saying that this would be an encoder issue? It might be power and grounds, but I don't really think so just because of this part now at this part 
because they have the same positive and negative supply they're part of the same encoder right so this guy went up and it's positive if I was losing my negative they would both be both be at positive at that time all right now if I was losing my positive then both of these guys should be at zero or close to zero at the same time if I saw something like that that they would be in phase then I would probably check on the positive and the negative supply for this but at this rate at this case because like I said this is going up this is at positive right positive peak that is at negative peak so there's no way if they're sharing a ground or they're sharing a negative and sharing a positive that that would happen and then also at this point so for me this would be an encoder issue so I will be ordering an encoder and we will replace the encoder and let's see what we get after that okay now I have a new encoder in and I just changed my time base to like a 5 millisecond per division scale but it's pretty much the same or also added uh, filtering to make the um, waveform look smoother without all the glitches, all the spikes. So let's try to run it again, slowly on reverse. And it's running smooth and that's how it should look like. A little bit faster. Always at 50%. Stop. Go in the other direction. There you go. Okay, I would call this a fix.